checkpoint of the day that that you need to be aware of. And I'm, I'm telling you, this is the one that is most missing, critical, crucial point throughout the day for most entrepreneurs, especially most men or not even entrepreneurs, just most men is when they come back or finishing up work. Because the last thing you want to do is be sitting at home later on at 8 p.m. on the floor doing f***ing Legos with little Billy. And remember, I didn't respond to that email earlier today. And I got to go, stop doing what you're doing little Billy and ignore him and neglect him and go back to work because you didn't finish your job earlier in the day. What's up, freaks? Welcome to another episode of the Steve Eckert Show podcast. And today we're going to talk about two checkpoints that you need to be doing throughout your day. And one of them is, I'm going to say, after dealing with thousands of of men and entrepreneurs, I'm going to say one of these checkpoints, which we're going to dive into the second checkpoint in a bit, is the most critical, crucial piece that's missing and causing you to have work-life imbalance. We're going to dive into that in a second here on the Steve Eckert Show podcast, which is a show on how to flip the switch and have a no excuses, badass mindset guiding you to adapt, overcome, and destroy the obstacles that are preventing your success in your mindset, your family, your fitness, and your business. So you could stop being a little bitch, get your shit together, and start living life on your own freaking terms, all while you create your own personal freak freedom lifestyle. And and today's episode is 100% directly related to that. Now, we, we there's an episode we just did just last week's episode, which was all about creating your own morning routine, your morning ritual. I call it the morning battle plan because every day is a fucking battle. You're going to war every single day, whether you're an entrepreneur or not, but especially as a man, you are going to war. And it's your duty and obligation to go into war and go into those battles and be prepared for those battles every day. And that's what the morning routine is setting you up for. And today, we are going to tackle the two middle checkpoints of the day. And then next week, we're going to go into the fourth checkpoint of the day, which is the end of night routine. So today, those two checkpoints, the first one is your start of work day routine. I just call it the SWD. And this start of work day routine, first, let me me give you a quote from Marcus Aurelius. You know, we always like to freakify some stuff, whether it's philosophy or Buddhism or whatever we're going to be diving into. Marcus really says, when you wake up in the morning, tell yourself, the people I deal with today will be meddling, will be ungrateful, arrogant, dishonest, jealous, and surly. They are like this because they can't tell good from evil. Like he's preparing himself for the bullshit, for the people, for the slimy motherfuckers he's going to run into that day right off the bat. Like think about that. Being ready for the bullshit. Being ready for those slimy motherfuckers that that you're going to cross in your day. And this point, the SWD, so think of the the morning routine, which we just talked about last week, is the first checkpoint of the day. This second checkpoint is the SWD, the start of the workday routine. I have an entire course on this. So if you you want to access that course, you know what? If you're listening to this podcast, send me a message, send me an email. I will send you, give you free access to that course on creating these four checkpoints. So, this this SWD is is basically going from me time, the 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 your personal time, your morning routine, basically going from me time is over and it's going, it's time to go into work mode. It's a transition period to go to to now start to serve, to give service, to start being a creator and to start providing. It's time to optimize work. It's time to shift and change your state, change your energy. And get more productive. It's, it's money-making time. This SWD is transitioning. It's a, it's a framework. It's a ritual. It's just, and it's very simple. It's going to be very quick, this, this SWD. It's a transition basically from the personal to the professional. You're getting into work mode. You're removing all distractions. You're, you're setting boundaries for maximum freaking focus, for productivity, for efficiency. 
your morning routine, your your daily battle plan that you started before that, that was all for you to get yourself dialed in, locked in. That was last week. Go back and listen to that if you haven't listened to it yet. Now it's the start of work day routine. It's time to transition. Get rid of those distractions. It's time to start living the, this standard that you set in the morning routine, in that in that battle ritual. So it's you're literally just getting at your desk. Your, your desk should be organized, a clean workspace. It should be conducive to work, uncluttered, so you could be focused and have laser beam fucking focus on the on the shit you need to work on that day. Those priorities that you worked on and you visualize and whatever else that you planned during that morning routine. This is the first time of the day when you're actually going to start checking and this and just checking. I didn't say dive deep into checking your emails or text messages or social media or maybe even the news. Whatever's fits your job, your whatever you need to do for work. You're not if you don't use any of those things for business, you're not checking them. You're not even checking them at this point. Only if you're using that shit for business. But this is the first time that you're checking your text, your email, your social media. You didn't touch it yet. From the time you woke up, you did your morning routine, did all your little other stuff you needed to do. Now it's the start of work day routine. Now you're checking in to see which emails are there, what things came in that I'm gonna need to attack this day and you put them in their place for the day. It doesn't mean you're responding to all of them right now. Same thing if they're the text messages. And you're only doing checking social media for important data or information or messages, not just to go scroll and find the fucking cats swinging on the ceiling fan. Same thing for the news. And this is only if you need to check the news because of, of whatever industry you're in and if it fits. If it's not, you're not checking the news just to check the news. You're not checking social media just to check it. This is part of your routine to get you transitioning from that personal into the professional. This is also when you're going to open up your calendar. Look at your checklist for the day. See what appointments you have for the day. What meetings do you have? What are you recording that day? Like when I had this morning, my start of work day routine, I saw we, we had a photo shoot earlier. That's why I'm all, all freaking looking like a freaking pumpkin up here. And we had a photo shoot. And I knew that was coming up. I knew we had recording of this episode today. I saw it in the start of work day routine. So it's seeing what is where, how's the day going to look. It's getting an overview of the day. Really to get focused, get yourself mentally focused for what's coming that day. What's the flow going to look like? What's the rhythm of that day going to look like? What's the beats of that day going to look like? And then looking at, all right, what are the goals for today? How does these tasks I'm doing today fit into the bigger picture of the goals that I just visualized in that morning routine? Those bigger, higher calling goals. How do these things that I'm doing in this in this work day, how are they going to fit into that? And connecting the dots of that shit so you're not just wasting your fucking time. Also, part of this start, the start of work day routine is, is getting the environment conducive for productivity, for efficiency, for work. That means getting the lighting the proper way. For me, it's, it's I'm putting up the, pulling up the blinds, getting some bright light into the room, putting the whatever whatever lighting or or blinds or music you need to do. I have a sign on the door. I'm going into deep work mode because right after my start of work day routine, I go into kill time, which means deep work time, get shit done time, whatever you want to call it. So I'll put the do not disturb sign on the door because I know it's time to start focusing, time for that laser beam freaking focus. I'll set up the desk, whether it's sitting or standing. There's a, a sit-stand desk. If you don't have that, you should have it. You should be transitioning from sitting to standing throughout the day. You should not just sit on your fat ass all day. So I usually will start the day standing up. So I'll, I'll make sure the desk is up, ready to roll. So the environment is set. Signs on the door, the desk is in the right position, the lighting is perfect, there's music if you're, if you're going to be having music for whatever you're doing, whatever it is. The temperature is the, the right temperature, notifications go off on the phone, all the multiple screens are set up, I have my main computer monitor, then I have one to the right, one to the left, which has my calendar and schedule, the one has checklists and messages that I need to check on, so everything is set up the way it needs to get done, and now we're ready to, to, to rock and roll for the freaking day. And I'm ready to start for that kill time, that most important time where I'm going into the deep priorities of the day. And it's transitioning. This is just a transitional period. You can see those things I said are not that, that difficult. These are not groundbreaking things. It's not that fucking hard. But then I'm also going to be, be asking myself, like, how, how did this start of work day routine go? And how did I transition? And, and paying attention to this, did I, did I feel like I transitioned from the the personal to the professional. I'm, I'm keeping track of this, keeping track of my energy, keeping track of how smooth these transitions are throughout the day with all these different transitions. And it's, it's fun looking what areas of life 
Or, or where, how am I, is it, where, what areas of that personal life are bleeding over to work? Where am I getting distracted? What boundaries do I need to set to minimize these distractions? And paying attention to all this as I'm going into the workday. Like what is still on my mind or weighing me down or, or undone? Or what, what didn't I solidify in, the, in that morning ritual, the morning routine that it's dragging on and bleeding over to workday? Because you got to be fucking focused when it's time to get to work. And that's the start of workday routine. It's very simple, very straightforward. And that's why we're putting this together with this third checkpoint of the day that that you need to be aware of. And I'm, I'm telling you, this is the one that is most missing, critical, crucial point throughout the day for most entrepreneurs, especially most men or not even entrepreneurs, just most men is when they come back or finishing up work is an EWD. That's the end of workday routine. The end of workday. EWD, the end of workday. So that's a start of work. So we have the morning routine in the beginning. Start of work day, transition from personal, from the morning routine into professional for the work day. Now you worked all freaking day. You need to have a ritual that says, I am transitioning from the professional back to the personal. You need a daily routine and a ritual to transition from work mode to home mode, from, from professional back into personal. Because otherwise that energy is going to bleed into your life, into your day, into your personal life, into your freaking home, which I'm assuming you don't want to do. There's a quote by Les Brown. He says, at the end of the day, it's important to know what really matters most in life, your sanity, your health, your family. That's what you need to be thinking. You can't be stressing all this work shit when you go home. And bringing the worst of you into the fucking house. And bringing all the drama and bullshit and and negative energy or whatever happened to it. Even even the, the highs, the lows, cut that shit. Cut the peaks and valleys. Have the emotional discipline. Don't bring that shit into the home. Because it's infectious one way or the other. Walt Disney says, a man should never neglect his family for business. And I see it all the time. I'm telling you, with literally tens of thousands of men and entrepreneurs that I've worked with in the last two decades or that I've spoken to when I'm up on stage speaking to, speaking to an audience at an event or we're in the project or my one-on-one coaching clients or different events that I go and instruct at is always having trouble with this. They, whatever you want to call it, time management, productivity, whatever you want to call it. And it's really meaning they're having trouble with work-life balance, work-life imbalance. And they're not transitioning these different parts of the day correctly. And they're, they're bleeding the energy from work into the freaking home. And this, this needs a routine. And so let's break it down. What does the end of workday routine look like? Well, it starts with ending all these things, closing all these loops, starts with, scan, scan, I scan my emails, just going through the emails. What emails did I miss throughout the day? What emails did I miss throughout the day? Scanning text messages, scanning social media, and making sure I didn't miss anything. Because the last thing you want to do is be sitting at home later on at 8 p.m. on the floor doing fucking Legos with little Billy, and remember, oh shit, I didn't respond to that email earlier today. And I got to go, stop doing what you're doing, little Billy, and ignore him and neglect him and go back to work because you didn't finish your fucking job earlier in the day. So I'm literally just scanning them. What did I miss on email, on text messages, and social media? And it ha- it's it, if you don't have a routine and, and the days that, for some reason, I don't follow my, my own personal checklist and, and again, craft this to, to work for you, whatever means, whatever task you need to do to end the workday. For me, it's Checking those text messages. And there's times when I don't go through this, when you think you have it down, you think you don't need the checklist because you do it all the fucking time and you miss something. And then I realized I didn't get back to a text message. The next day, the person texts me again. You're like, motherfucker. And I forgot to respond to the text message because I didn't check my EWD checklist. So it's like such a high priority. Otherwise, you're bleeding that energy into your freaking family, into your home. So it's just closing those loops, checking those, those emails, those text messages, social media. And then... I'm scanning the, the work day, scanning the, the day that I just finished. Um, I'm preview, uh, reviewing the day I just finished, reflecting on the day I just finished. How did it go? What got done? What didn't get done? Didn't get done. 
What task didn't get done that maybe I need to move to tomorrow or another time or maybe eliminate? Why didn't it get done today? So I'm just scanning what what accomplishments that I get today and then planning the, the work priorities for the upcoming day, looking at tomorrow's schedule. All right, check. I got this, this, and this coming up. So it's in, in your head. You're, you're checking what the beats are just like you did in the morning and entering them into the ch- a checklist or whatever you need to do and knowing what's coming up, being prepared for it. Then I'm organizing the workspace, cleaning it off, cl- making sure shit is clean and, and controlled. I'm literally turning off my main computer monitor, like powering it down, like shut down. Now, yeah, I have uh, uh, tablets and cell phones and laptops. Of course, I could do work in all those places. And there's a time and a place when you need to. And you need to earn that right to work during that personal time. There's times when it happens. There's times you're going through a grind or times you're working on a big deal and you make it known to the family you're going to need to step out later in the day or whatever else. Or, But if you're doing that shit all the time, you're just an asshole. You need to earn the right to be able to step out from the family and let it be known ahead of time, communicate that shit ahead of time. You're going to need to step out for work later on. But I'm shutting down the main computer because I want to, it's, it's, it's almost like a psychological trigger turning off that main computer, saying work is done, shut down, literally putting shut down on the computer and turning it off. And it's just telling me work is done. And then I'm closing the blinds. So it's dimming down the room, shutting the lights. Because I remember in school, in, in elementary school, I remember when the end of the day ended and I hated, I fucking hated school. And I remember... One kid's one kid's job was one kid's job was to put the water the plants. Another kid's job was to sweep the floor. Another kid's job was to to close the blinds. And I remember when the blinds would close, that it, it was like a symbolic that the day was over and I was getting out of that hellhole. I was getting out of that hellhole and the blinds were closed. It was dark. And so when I close these blinds here in, the, in, the, in, the, in my home office, it's like symbolic that the work day is over. All these things are just psychological triggers. You find out what are your triggers for you to end the work day. But I'm telling you, this is a magical time of day that you need to cut the work and not let that shit bleed into your personal life because you're going to be ruining your relationships. You're going to be ruining your life. And you're going to be bringing the worst of you and that energy into your home, which your family, your kids, and yourself don't freaking deserve. So don't make this grave mistake. Get this done. Like starting today. It's free. Fucking free and you can start it today. Get it done now. So now the blinds are closed. It's dark. I'm, I go into a quick visualization, quick med- or actually first I'm doing a quick little reading. I want to end the day with some positivity, some motivational reading, some bullet point reading similar to the morning routine, some philosophy, or if you're a Bible reader, it could be some bullet points in the Bible or some quotes of the day, just ending on a high note with some positivity. And then I'm going to visualization, meditation, some gratitude for the day, changing my state before I exit because I work I work from home. So literally right on the other side of this door right here that I'm looking at is going into the personal life. This is professional. Stepping through that door is personal. And maybe you, you your, your transition space, that magical portal is from the car to your house or you, you, you do this visualization and it's when you're leaving your office. But also, get some air. Sometimes I'll go out the back door here to get some air and I'll walk around the house just to get some air. Take a deep breath, some breathing room. Get outside, get some air. Maybe go walk the dog or walk from your, your car to the house, apartment, whatever it is, and get have that transitional period. Because what this time is doing, it's decompressing. You're clearing your head. You've done that, the visualization of the day, the meditation of the day, the gratitude for the, before you even left the office or before you left that space. So you're, you're going over the victories for the day. You're grateful for the work and, and for whatever else you had that day, grateful for the life you have. You're changing your state. And then when I'm walking through the doorway here, from office, the kitchen is right there, the backyard is there, whichever one it is. When I walk that door, it's like I'm walking through a magical portal. I see it as this like bl- glowing blue magical portal and I'm walking through that. And as I'm walking towards that magical portal, that doorway, that is my transition from work to home, transition from personal or from professional to personal, I'm picturing all the battle armor that I have on. I'm, I'm taking my shield and I'm tossing it on the ground. I can hear the metal clanking on the ground. I'm taking off my warrior's helmet 
and tossing it aside, throwing down my, my sword, taking off my chest plate. And I could hear the metal clanking and the helmets rolling and the sword clanks on the ground. And every step I'm taking, I'm taking some tweezers and I'm plucking out the bullets and, and packing them with mud, all the shots that I took throughout the, the work day. Taking those same tweezers and I'm, I'm, I'm plucking the arrows out of my back where I got stabbed in the back where, where the slimy motherfuckers were, 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 were shooting you in the back and shooting arrows into your back throughout the day. The battles of business that you go through every day. Because I don't want to bring that pain, that drama, that energy, that infectious negativity over whatever else, any of that energy into the home. So as I'm stepping, walking towards every step, I'm dropping another piece of the armor, dropping some more of the weight from the day. So when I step through that doorway, it's like I'm walking through this magical portal. I'm transforming from the CEO, from the salesman, from the entrepreneur or the manager, or maybe you're the salesperson, whatever it is, the instructor. I'm transforming from entrepreneur to husband, from CEO to man and human, to the instructor to daddy. That's the transition that's going through my head every single time. It's clearing your mind. It's closing the wounds, not bringing that energy in to the day. And that shit is needed. That type of work, that transition space, I'm telling you, the EWD is the missing, critical, crucial piece for 90% of people who are struggling with work-life imbalance. This will help you not drag all that energy into your day. And that's it. That's very simple. Those two, those two checkpoints for the day. Start a work day routine, 